Welcome to my room tour. Come on, let's take a look. So when you walk in, you have this wide open space right here. And we're gonna go take a look at every little section in detail. But here's just a little run through of what everything kind of looks like from afar. So when you first walk in on your right, there's this overlay of plenty of clothes. We've got a laundry basket right here that is attached to hangers to hold it up. And then we have jackets, flannels, button ups, suits, and of course, a Hulk costume. On the top shelf up here, we have an extra towel, an extra pillow cover, books of leisure. Then this box is actually special. Inside this box is compartmentalized backups of frequently used items. And then also you have belts that are up here. There is also additional storage as needed above the clothes, which are currently occupied by empty boxes. Also under the clothes is a space utilized for shoe storage. Then coming in on the left, we have a bed space with more additional storage underneath and a ukulele on the wall. There is a pirate flag, a lamp that does not work, and the main event, the hammock. My friends usually sleep in the bed or sit down there to watch shows, and that's why it's not usually made. And while I'm in the hammock or sleeping, I have a notepad just in case some ideas pop up. And now we have our typical bathroom set up and laundry supplies, cleaning supplies, etc. Before we get to one of my favorite parts of the room, let's take a quick look at the dresser. So above the dresser, we have this bandana that my friend recently gave to me. I decided to put it up on the wall temporarily until I figure out how to wear it. It's mostly just a bunch of junk here, really, that I don't really use that often, but coffee, plastic bags, sugar, oatmeal, etc. I also have this diffuser, which I put essential oils in that make the room smell pretty good. And it looks pretty cool. In the top drawer, we have socks that don't have a pair, some masks, and my collection of ties, which are nicely organized with this hexagonal system. I'll put a link to this in the description. All the other drawers are pretty basic. Shirts, shorts, socks, underwear, pants. You get the drill. Before we move right over to the desk, let's go straight to what's between the desk, which is a trash can, my camera bag, and just some documents and some wrapping paper. Between the two desks, we have a battery setup where I keep my batteries and charging stations and everything gets plugged in right here, even the speaker. Right above that is actually the American flag which hangs over both of the desks. You'll notice that there's a bunch of inspirational quotes all around my desk and I'll go through these quickly and you can pause if you would like to read them. Above the desk itself, I have business cards, a picture of Candace, a piggy bank, glasses, the Empire State Building, other chargers, and, little, and the GoPro. Also on the desk, I have my own cutting board, the computer, a paper stand, a bunch of other junk that's usually here all the time, and paperwork that needs to get sorted. There is also a reserve of cardboard if I need any of it for future projects. Don't forget the whiteboard. Very important. I'm really proud of this drawer setup that I have with a bunch of utilities that I would need from time to time on the go. We've got sticky pads here, note cards, tapes, glues, staples, push pins, 
command strips, erasers, cutting devices, measuring devices, hole puncher, pens, pencils, and markers. I'll put down a link down in the description where you can buy these on Amazon. They're little separate, separatable boxes that can be connected in various fashions to put all your stuff together. The top drawer just has additional junk and other pieces of cardboard that are pre-cut in case of needing. And the, uh, the cardboard cutter. The second drawer has all electronic stuff. So you got batteries, another camera, mouse, mice, hot glue, battery charger, cable box, and external hard drives. The last drawer just has books. <clears throat> Yeah, that's really it. it, just has books. And right next to my desk, I usually keep my book bag and my skateboard. This is what my outside window looks like. There's a bunch of trees, a parking lot, and another building. The sunset usually occurs right over there. Here's what the room looks like from my roommate's bed. I very much enjoy this angle of the room and I wish I would have slept up here more often.